the adjustment? Well, it's been a uh, little bit of a whirlwind, you know, getting our feet on the ground, uh, you know, getting here, going through HR, getting uh, all signed up, uh, and uh, just having a chance to be back home for me is a, is a big opportunity, and, uh, you know, being able to meet some of the players that are currently on the roster and uh, working our tails off on the phones and uh, in airplanes and uh, cars trying to get some relationships built. And uh, so, you know, we, we again, we could have signed, like Coach Sat mentioned, we could have signed. 10, 12, 15 guys a day, but I think uh, we're doing the right thing by really vetting the guys and getting to know them and knowing who we're signing um, before we, we we bring them in here because we're gonna we're gonna do a good job of trying to improve the, the team chemistry and the culture and we feel like we got to get the guys that, that align with those uh, values. I know you've only been here for a week, and I, but I'm sure you've watched video some tape. What do you know about your room or your guys and maybe maybe add a guy? Yeah, well, I, I don't want to really particularly talk about individual guys, right. but I yeah. think uh, overall I think there's some talent there. Um, you know, some of the guys I, I know that are especially uh, in-state guys, um, I, I knew them when they were in high school. Uh, but I think there's some talent there. There's some guys with some links, some guys with some speed. I think, uh, you know, we've got to go in and implement our system and uh, get these guys up to speed at how we want to play and the things we want to do. And uh, we probably add a couple of guys, uh, uh, you know, in the next signing period. But right now I think we got a, a good nucleus of guys that are hungry and uh, are ready to go to work. They're, I think they're excited for some new energy. What about for you to be back home in the state? coaching it's got to be pretty cool isn't it yeah it's pretty cool I was a you know I was a high school coach in this state not long ago and played here and uh, you know won a state championship at the old Cardinal Stadium so I've got a lot of uh, a lot of connections back here and it's cool to be back to uh, be closer to family but also be able to build relationships with uh, coaches in the state and let you know the coaches know in the state a lot of them I either played with in college at Campbell's University or have known through my coaching career when I was here as a high school coach for four years in this state and so uh, I think those relationships will be able to, uh, to help us uh, keep some of this uh, good talent that's in the state, um, get them here in Louisville, and the kids that are in the city, we, we can't let those kids out of, the, out of the city of Louisville. So everybody on the staff so far, some familiarity with Coach Satterfield, except for you. How did this, uh, how did this come about for you, and, and what about working for him? Well, I've known uh, Coach Satterfield uh, for probably about five or six years now, and um, a guy that I was hired by at uh, Wofford College, Nate Woody was his defensive coordinator for five years at, uh, at Appalachian State, and then the defensive scheme that we will employ here, I've been a part of now since 2011, um, so I know the defense pretty well. Um, and then just getting to be around him and uh, knowing his values and what he stands for as a football coach and a person uh, and then asking questions, you know, throughout the coaching profession is small and asking a lot of questions. And the one thing that I heard is when you work for Coach Satterfield, you'll never want to leave. Um, and so uh, that was a no-brainer for me and my family to make the decision and uh, to come here and work for him.